Hi everyone. Today's message is entitled, The Child of God is Not of This World. So in keeping with our Child of God series, The Child of God is Not of This World. Now just before the Lord Jesus closed his ministry on earth, he said to his disciples, If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. That's John 15, 18 to 19. I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Then Christ said concerning his disciples in his prayer to his father, pay attention here, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. John 17, 16. Now meditate on that verse for a few moments and try to grasp what the Lord is saying. Now it would seem from these words of the Lord Jesus Christ that Christians would know that the term worldly Christian seems to be paradoxical. Note how the world is described in 1 John 2.16. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Therefore, Christians are instructed in 1 John 2.15, Love not the world, neither the things in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4.4 4. The unsafe person is said to walk according to the course of this world, Ephesians 2.2. 2. God thus instructs the saved person, be not conformed to this world, Romans 8.12.2. In Colossians 3, God explains to the Christians the meaning of Christ's words in the 17th chapter of John, that the Christian is in the world, but is not of the world. Every Christian should read Colossians 3 at least a thousand times, and then by God's all-sufficient grace and almighty power, try to obey the command, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. There is no higher scriptural truth in the entire Bible than in Colossians 3, which begins, If ye then be raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Put to death, therefore, your members upon the earth. Now, after mentioning some of the sinful habits that ought to be put away, these words of warning are added. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Colossians 3, 6. Note in the same epistle to the Christians or saints, what the Lord's spiritual leaders wished for of all the Christians, and that for which they prayed fervently, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God, Colossians 4.12, that ye might be filled with the knowledge of, of God's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Colossians 1, 9-10. So there you have it. But one more thing, and I felt really compelled to add this to the message. In Ephesians 1, 13, the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul declares that men are saved and sealed, by hearing and believing the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Therefore, to whoever you are viewing this video, here now is declared unto you the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. And it is that Christ died for our sins. Christ died for your sins, according to the scriptures, 
and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 5. Now believe that today, because the time is short. Please spread this message to everyone you know, far and wide. Because, again, how many times do I have to say the time really is short? And grace be to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye for now.